One week ago today marked the 10 year anniversary of the United States going to war in Afghanistan. For former Rockville athlete Matt Kinsey, this has a lot of meaning. As sports director Rick Simler shows us, the war in Afghanistan has had a huge impact on his life and the person he is today. We do want to warn you, though, some of the video in this story is graphic. Oh, we all know what we sign up for, and we all know the risks that we take. I have no regrets. Never once thought twice about it. Matt Kinsey joined the Army's 82nd Airborne Unit in 2006. Just always wanted to join. I always wanted to serve my country and go fight in a war and do my part. Matt knew the risk involved, but never thought twice about serving his country. <laughs> Ten months into his second deployment in Afghanistan, everything changed. On June 2, 2010, Matt was leading his platoon on a combat mission when he stepped on a landmine. Everybody all right? A lot of different things go through your mind. Um, you know, what if you're going to live or die? Matt needed two full blood transfusions. His injuries were so severe, doctors at Walter Reed Hospital couldn't save his right foot. I went to under surgery. Woke up next morning. Uh, realized I'd realized before that my foot was gone. Uh, so I woke up next morning after surgery. You know, I looked down, make sure everything was good. I looked down, saw the bandages and the hoses and everything's coming out of me. Despite the injuries, Matt refused to stop living life. After 10 surgeries, he got a prosthetic foot and was walking on it 90 days later. I remember he took two steps in it and broke it. And Art, the Art, Art the, his prosthetic guy, just turned bright red and said, I'll, I'll fix it. He went back in and fixed it, brought it back out to Matt. Matt put it on and just took off down the hallway. And he turned around to Art and goes, see ya. And, you know, mom and dad are bawling. Upset that he couldn't finish his deployment, Matt decided to follow through on a promise he made with his dad. We made a pact before we went over even the first time that we'd coach together. Matt's always had an interest in coaching. After his injury, Matt got a chance to come back and coach football right here at Rockville High School. He said it was a tremendous honor, but he would only do it on one condition. Well, I promised Coach King and I promised my dad that I was going to come home and I was going to walk on the football field again. And I promised the team that as well. I said, I'm not coming home on crutches, I'm not coming home in a wheelchair, I will walk on this football field again. These days, Matt and Mark spend a lot of time together as assistant coaches for the Rocks program. Look at that, look at that, that's how you run it. Oh. Oh. Go, 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 go! He has a gift, he might not realize it all of it yet, but he has an unbelievable gift for uh, the game, as well as a uh, way to build a camaraderie with the, in, uh, with the uh, players and how to get the most out of them, what buttons to push. Come on, D, step up. We can score on them. Let's go. Good job, Couch, kid. You're good, man. You're looking good. Despite being a star quarterback in 2002, Matt says he has found his true calling on the sidelines. I grew up watching um, Rockwell football here on the field, dreamed of Panther playing here. Uh, I got the opportunity to, and uh, then I've been blessed to be able to come back and coach here. And so I, you know, I love every minute of it. Reporting with photojournalist John Tim, I'm Rick Simler, Sports 10. And Matt's dream, which he is pursuing, is to be a Division I college football head coach. Tomorrow we'll have part two of our special report on Matt Kinsey. We'll show you how this incredible young man has been able to continue with his athletic career as an amputee.